in 1917. Now, if you're as tired as I am, well, we still have a whole battle ahead of us. We've just come out, and what the Canadian troops would have done, they would have filed into the trenches here, waiting for the order to attack. They would have advanced behind an artillery barrage towards Hill 145 and the other objectives um, for the battle. Now, I mentioned, I think, at the beginning of the tour, uh, of course, the attack was successful. By mid-afternoon, they held the hill here, and by April 12th, all the objectives had been achieved. Um, so it's a great success, of course, for the Canadian military particularly. We had the four divisions fighting together, although they did go on to other successful battles later on. So that's the end of the tunnel tour here. I hope it gives you an idea of how the tunnels fit into the attack and the broader uh, what happened here. If you have any more questions left over, don't hesitate to come talk to me or any of the other guides on site. If you haven't seen them yet, you might want to check out the trenches here. We have guides posted there who can talk to you about that. And of course the monument, which is up the main road, about 15 minutes walk or about 2 minutes if you have a car. Um, so that's about it. Come talk to us if you have questions. Thanks so much for coming and I hope you have an excellent visit. Thank you. Thank you.